Don't do this, mate. Don't do it. It doesn't help. You go in there, you scream, they cry, you hate yourself. Breathe. Talk to them. Do it better, Paul. Be better. Jesus fucking Christ! How many times do I have to tell you to be quiet? No, tell me, how many times have I told you? You think I'm gonna put up with this? I'll fucking go, I don't give a shit. In fact, I'm gonna go. Tell, tell mummy that daddy's gone, right? Cos he couldn't stand to be around a fucking noise anymore. Then when you told her that, you can watch her cry. Then you can cry some more, you'll all be fucking crying. <sighs> Sorry. I just need you to be quiet. I'm working, I didn't mean any of that. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No fucking coming, you fellas! Oh, no, 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 no. I thought you told us! Did I say I did? I... Did I say I did? Did I say I did? Can you show it to me? Is it burglars? You said we could get out that door. It's all right, mate. Who fucking said he's Shut fucking... the fuck up or I'll kill you. What? You heard. I said I'll kill you. Shut your fucking noise. Come here. Fucking come out here. Yeah, I'll come out there. I'll come out there, you ugly cunt. I'll kill you. I'll kill both of you. I believe it, Josh. He's like 60 or something. Six? What the fuck? I'm mid-40s, mate. Look, he's got his fucking slippers on. Look. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, mate. <laughs> I'll kill you! <laughs> I will kill both of you! <laughs> mm. oh. Luke, can you open the door? Uh, I can't do it! Yeah, you can. Just, just turn the latch. Oh, what's a latch? Oh, God. But it's, it's, it's the sort of sticky out thing. It should be sort of up there. Ow, mother fucker! I can't open it! I can't no, open it the fire! No. Where is the fire? Look around, there's no fire, is there? Jesus Christ! Oh. You're mad. No, Ali, I'm serious. I'm deadly serious. We can't take him to hospital. It hurts! We are taking Luke to hospital. No! The doctor made it very clear they already suspect that we are dodgy. Now, if we go in again with another injury, another accident... But it was an accident! Oh, do you really no. think they're going to take Luke into care? Yes, yes, I do. Or he'll have to live with foster parents. They'll probably be vegans. Oh, Paul, he hates chickpeas. Just calm down, calm down. Right, well, what do you suggest we do, then? Right, if it is broken, can we set the bone ourselves? OK. How would we know if it was broken and how would we reset a bone? YouTube. Everything's on YouTube. It's how I fix the toilet. We could end up permanently disabling our son. Yes, I know, but it's either that or hello, King Herod, back again. Oh, Christ. Don't turn the telly off, Paul. Paul? Daddy's got something to tell you. Right. Uh, sometimes... ..when you get very old or very ill, your body just sort of shuts down, you know, like, uh... A computer. Mm. Uh, no, more final. Uh, like a coal mine. Thank you. Sprout died. I'm afraid he's dead. <laughs> oh. No, it's OK. Sprout's gone, but he's part of the universe now. But Mrs. Vicious's universe is huge. How will we find him? Oh, look, mate. If the old gerbils don't die, then the new ones can't come through, can they? Mm. It's like the circle of life. You've seen The Lion King. But Sprout was only two. Yeah, I know, but that's like Grandpa's age, isn't it? In, yeah. in gerbil years. Kids, Sprout's not really dead. That's not helpful. He sort of is dead. Luke, can you see Sprout in your mind? I think I can. Yeah. Ava, can you hear him drinking from his little water bottle? Yes. Do you love Sprout? Will you remember him forever? Yeah. <laughs> He's not dead. He just lives inside you now, that's all. Is that true, Paul? Uh, yeah, in a, in a way. This is because you call your dad Michael, you know, all this Paul bollocks. Could you sing one of the songs? Could I? From my playlist. 
It really helps me poo. Could you sing Nightmares? Ah, no, I can't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nightmares. Oh, only you alone can quench this here thirst. My night nurse. Could you sing it like the man sings it? Mate, I'm not doing the fucking accent. The pain is getting worse. Luke loves his history, always has. Right. Is, is there a problem? Luke is currently on a grade four. Sorry, uh, what's that in old money? That would have been a C. A C, right. So then he's passing, that's great. Not really. If Luke wanted to be able to choose history as a GCSE option, then he'd currently ideally be on a grade five. Mm, which is a B. No, it's still a C. Uh, he'd need to be on a grade five now, aiming for a six. A six is a B. It doesn't particularly help to translate the grades back to their old equivalents. It does a bit. Tarek said there's no father Christmas. Shh, Michael's still asleep. All right, Ali. He's not a baby, he can wake up. Tarek said you two buy the presents, hide them, and put them under the tree while I'm asleep. Well, maybe Tarek knows something. Tarek is a tiny idiot. Of course, there's a Father Christmas. Is that true, Daddy? Huh? Okay, look, just go and go and brush your teeth now, all of them. He hasn't brushed. I've just put his coat on. Did you not? Shh. Go up, 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 up. Come on, he's only seven. Don't shit on his dreams just yet. Wait till he's eight. Hey, Luke. Hiya, Dad. Oh, my. <laughs> ah. Good day. <laughs> we have to. Not much. Just coming up with a new baseline. Cool. Jacob not around? No, he's taking Ruby to see the Felice Barini exhibition oh. at Tate Modern. He does like anamorphic illusions. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. Good for him. <clears throat> it's, it's always hard when your mate starts hanging out with his girlfriend more than you. But we've all been there, mate. Me and Jacob, we're mates and all. Mm. But we're not really best mates anymore. That's a shame. I mean, he's got Ruby mm. and I've got my band. So, yeah, it's fine. I mean... Well, I'm always... Here for you, Luke. You know that. Thank you, Dad. Would you like to scream into my pillow again? No, I'm good, thanks. See you later.